feel good with him. Yeah, nice. How do you feel? Uh, good, perfect. Have you ever had a microphone in front of your... Yeah, multiple times. Okay, so, so you're used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually record my own uh, videos for like the training courses and stuff. So. Oh, so you're a professional. Yeah, yeah, I actually also have my mic with me at the house here, so just to record the videos and stuff. I like that. <laughs> So, if I pronounce your name uh, Devin, it's correct? Yeah, Devin. 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 Yeah, correct. Devin. Um, tell me th three things. No, tell me three things. It's the TH, huh? Tell me three things that I should know about yourself. Um, I actually um, have been written off for uh, multiple things in life, uh, for college mostly. Since I have dyslexia and dyscalculation, um, I have concentration problems, and I have HDD. So yeah, like school and everything else. Sorry, that's a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So um, it's actually yeah been a, a pretty bumpy ride throughout my school period since uh, nobody actually like really trusted in my school life. Uh, neither did I. So. Therefore, I actually uh, gave up on it uh, uh, as soon as possible. And uh, from there on, I actually just started doing my own thing. Wow. Was this number one? Or were it like yeah, that was number one. Um, <laughs> because it's already yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. lot, so wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, number two is that I um, am most probably uh, yeah, pretty greedy to learn. And I yeah, take actions by myself, so I don't wait for others to yeah, take action. I would like to have the, the fate in my own hands. And um, yeah, I'm pretty like uh, uh, caring for the people that uh, care about me. So I love giving in return. I think that those are the three main points. Wow, oh, so well said, Devin. Yes. Um, I met you in a, in a, in a restaurant mm -hmm. and I saw you, you had something like two or three mobiles next to you and you were like so focused. It was already late evening and I could see how bright you are because of your eyes, you know, that the mm -hmm. eyes are also like a mirror to the soul. Mm -hmm. And I could see in your eyes that there's a lot ongoing. Mm -hmm. How do you earn your money? I mean, maybe um, I know what you're earning your money met with, like, just in two sentences. What is it about what you are doing? Um, it's about investing in the financial market, also known as the foreign exchange market. And I have my own company that delivers online services towards customers. That's pretty cool because you're just 20, right? Yeah, correct. What do your friends say? I mean, when they uh, learned about what you're doing, mm -hmm. did they believe in you? Because maybe some of the friends uh, have been knowing since you have been younger. Mm -hmm. And you just told me what kind of challenges you had to face in your life as well. So mm -hmm. did they believe in you? Uh, yeah. Or did they find out how successful you are just later and then they said, wow, mm -hmm. that Devon. Well, actually, uh, like most of my friends have been with me through the whole process. So I've been with them since I had like nothing and now they actually see me like grow. And that's also very motivating for them as well and also for me because, yeah, it's they, they like supported me since the first steps that I've made in doing my own thing and it's also why I like really care about them since they've been there also when I didn't have nothing and now I'm actually currently yeah, like developing and growing and they've still been there for me so that's uh, yeah, something that I really appreciate by them. Mm -hmm. You said you have something like seven employees, correct? Mm -hmm. Nine. Ah, nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct. How is it for you? Are all those employees younger or older than you? Uh, mostly they are older than me. Um, I've like always been used to having like working with people that are older uh, than me um, since I was like 17 I that was like the first job that I like really did I was the uh, a, 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 like sales manager of a sales marketing company in the Netherlands and that was actually my first touch with um, yeah, being capable or like having the responsibility of running a business and like the the promoters that worked for me by then I were also all um, yeah above my age since I was 17 by the time and they were all like 21 and it was pretty difficult for them to listen to somebody who is younger than them um, but yeah somehow I made my way and I to be honest I do think that age is just a number since you can see that a young person also can have responsibilities. Hmm. Good. 
Very good. You told me when we had our pre conversation that you would give your parents seven to eight out of ten when it comes to wealth. Mm -hmm. To what extent you would say it has helped you to know that there is a financial safety net? Like before you have started to become an entrepreneur, maybe you had even a bit of fear, you didn't know what happened, or you were thinking like <laughs> What should I do in case A, B, C, D? You needed also money to start with. Uh, so I think your parents have supported and helped you. Mm -hmm. I think you told me like um, they put some money aside for your studies for college. Mm -hmm. And you used that money and your parents agreed at a young age, something like 16 it was, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And unfortunately you made a loss, something like 50K. Yeah. 15, <laughs> Not so yeah. 15 or 15? 15. 15, 15, 15 okay. Yes. So 15k, so this was your first experience. Mm, so tell me, to what extent did it help you that you had parents that supported you and that they were there, not only emotionally, but also financially? Mm -hmm. Well, um, like the, the biggest and most important part is actually that they, um, yeah, they indeed like supported me and I'd never felt like it was a safe net for me to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was always a, yeah, a kind of like guideline since I knew because like, for example, the money that I received from them, it never uh, helped me with the first step since I've lost it all at the first stage. So like the money that I've earned by that time, I was actually like investing in education and stuff. So like the money uh, actually didn't really help me, but it helped me like learn the complete process in losing and understanding the market and how how it actually works so yeah although that it didn't like help me with growing it did help me with like learning mm -hmm. in the process of losing and like my yeah uh, indeed it was a kind of like safe net because i knew that if i would go broke and i would have nothing i would always be uh yeah safe at home because my mom i actually have a kind of like a uh, contract with her that um i need to stay at home uh until the age of 25 Uh, simply because she knows that I'm not going to stay in the Netherlands. So she was always say like, just stay at your home uh, yeah, until the age of 25 and whatever you do by then, it doesn't matter as long as you stay until that age. So I do really, yeah. Why do you think she, she wants you to stay uh, at home? Is it because she loves you so much she wants to have you close? Or is it because she thinks that's the best for you because if not, I don't know, you mm -hmm. don't look like you would do nonsense. But yeah. So yeah, what's yeah. the reasoning? Um, I think are, there are like two things, both that they yeah like uh, uh, love me and that they, they want to have me around them. Um, since yeah, definitely um, they know that I don't want to stay in the Netherlands, so I want to uh, like live internationally. And the other section is that um, it is possible for them to um, eventually like give me the opportunity to do whatever I want to do. Um, And yeah, she also knows that um, it's, it's just about like caring and loving. And that's also something that I always like appreciated from them because the fact that she wants me to stay at home by until that age is simply because my parents always wanted to be like, like for example, my brother, he is like the uh, exact opposite of me. He's doing university and he's good in school and learning and stuff. And they always told me that like, We can only let you go at the moment that we know that you've made it in life already since you don't have a plan B. I don't have an, an education where I can get a proper job, for example. So I think that's also something that's included for them to keep me, keep, yeah, keep me as long as possible with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so you, what I get out of a conversation is that you enjoy being surrounded by a strong social environment so you said you appreciate your family and you appreciate your friends if you picture yourself living abroad how would it feel to be far away from family and friends then yeah, it's a good question um to be honest like i know that i will only like go out of the netherlands if i am wealthy enough to um, make them fly over or make myself fly back multiple times since indeed like I cannot like lose that connection um, however it also gives me a kind of like motivation and supportive to make my wealth increase that uh, big amount to eventually yeah, help them 
live the same life and like help them fly over for example and just help them with uh, with uh, yeah just maintaining their own life until the fullest that brings me to another question like you're very ambitious and already very successful what is your driver you are in forex so apparently you are not into sustainability you know? you are not fighting for minority rights so what is your driver to work so much and also to sacrifice a lot um like the most important i don't know like that's also something that uh people frequently ask to me like how you could like stay motivated and stuff and I, to be honest i don't really know i do think that it's a big part of dopamine like for the people that don't know dopamine dopamine is a uh yeah a, a substances in your brain and it actually gives you uh, a good feeling whenever you do something that you like so for example video games or whatsoever and i actually like control that dopamine so much in doing work so i cannot live a day without doing anything for work i feel like terrible if i don't work i even feel terrible if i do nothing for an hour since i it for me it like feels like i'm wasting time and i always had in my mind that i would like to sacrifice the price today so i don't have to sacrifice the price tomorrow so is it like you're dreaming dreaming yeah you see yourself also um in one period of your life where you don't work so you envisage that you are working so much right now because you have in mind that there is going to be a time in your life when there is something else instead of work and um, to be honest i don't think that i will ever <laughs> have my life like not working since i will be bored um i think like i don't really know how it feels since uh, i actually like started with my uh, do my own business at the age of 15 so since that time i like didn't even know how it actually feels like to mm -hmm. take a step back from work and to be honest like from now on i don't even like it when i do so i don't see myself liking it in like 60 or 70 years so mm -hmm. how many hours a day do you work Devin? um <laughs> that's uh that's a lot um like to be honest like my normal routine if i'm in in top form of of working and investing in the market normally my alarm goes off at 5 30 in the morning uh, i read a book i go to the gym um then at uh, 8 or like 7 30 i will be at home i'll start doing my first analysis and uh, then by the time uh, of like 7 in the evening you will most probably go uh, for dinner and then after that I normally um, yeah, use the time afterwards to like educate myself, so watch video courses or whatsoever. So I do think that I've like my work day actually starts from like eight in the morning until um, eight in the evening, I think, and then from there on, I uh, I actually like use the the other time that I have to educate myself by reading books or uh, yeah learning things online. After which criteria are you choosing what you are educating yourself in? Um, yeah, it's mostly like um, financially or like yeah, financial education. I like to know how things work in, in the world and also based on yeah, how I could develop things uh, like skill sets, for example, my trading skills. So I, uh, yeah, I also like to watch like videos, how to uh, actually multiply my knowledge on it. So would you sign the statement that you are a real specialist when it comes to the Forex? um like based on my experience since i like started like my first touch with the forex market was when i was 15. i don't see myself as a specialist because there are people that are way better than me i do see myself as somebody who knows what he is doing uh, however i don't really have the feeling that somebody could be satisfied with the knowledge that he has so i like to develop my knowledge just as much as possible and i don't think that i will ever have a moment where I don't uh, yeah, like to take up uh, more education. So for me, it's just like all about learning more and more and more. And the learning more and more, is it in that area of knowledge? Or would you say like it's also important for you to keep a broad mind? So to achieve that state of a broader mind, you need also to get different knowledge sources and um, things that has nothing to do with your specialization. Yeah. So how, if you think that's true, how do you, how do you reach that? Mm -hmm.
Um, yeah, like it's it's also mostly like focused on education, uh, like not only on forex, like I said, it's also on like financial education. So I would like to know, like for example, what's the best way to uh, deliver taxes, for example, um, since it's an, an important thing in the world, since everybody needs to pay taxes and. Um, also like based on, on uh, motivation mindset like the books that I read are mostly on personal development mm -hmm. and I do think that like that is also a way of like learning new things the weekends are they off no <laughs> it's the same like Monday to Friday um, not even no, no no not necessarily because like the forex market is open only from Monday to mm -hmm. Friday so most likely uh, the weekends I will use to like uh, yeah get a chat with the community. We will always have a, a kind of like mentor call with the complete team, and uh, on Sunday I will use it for yeah doing the administration, looking over the numbers and stuff. Wow, that's a very packed day, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you are twenty. Like usually you go out, you date, you go for party, back the backpack, and travel around the world. Do you miss all those experiences? Um, some, yeah, yes, some, but yeah, not not really like necessarily that I miss something um, because I am just like satisfied with how I live my life now. I've seen that the sacrifices that I made are, yeah, just worth it. Um, and that's also something that motivates me to maintain those sacrifices. Um, however, like, based on my on my youth uh, since I was 15 I was like actually like pretty fat so I never really had the experience of having friends by the time or like doing nice things having parties or whatsoever so um, by the time I also was bullied so somehow that um, yeah like that actually builded me in being the person that I am right now just to simply work since that was always like my escape on the normal things like I never really liked games or something or did went to parties I just like worked because I uh, it was actually something that I like and definitely in like those periods it helped me grow until the person that I'm I'm now mm -hmm. what is your purpose in life then uh, my main purpose is to simply um, yeah maintain my uh, family um, so like it's not that I work so much for myself or that I'm greedy, but I like to share my uh, yeah my profits, for example, or my my um, steps that I've made with the people that I love. So I've always said to my uh, dad, for example, that he um, he would like to have a Mustang. That's his like dream car, and I've always said to him like I'm gonna buy you that car, and I'm just gonna make uh, make them retire uh, before they do them by themselves so that's like my main priority you would like them to be able to retire before they can do that by themselves yes correct yes what do you think your parents would do with that additional free lifetime whatever they would like and that's just something that I uh, I want to be responsible for actually mm -hmm. what would you do with a life without work uh, I don't know <laughs> Um, like yeah like I said I'm, I'm just like focused on work uh, uh, most of the time so I can't really imagine a, a week off for example um, you can or you cannot? no cannot no definitely not so um, yeah because like I, I uh, have just my own company I have my stuff I have the, the members that uh, that uh, mm. work with us or that, that trade with us and I cannot Say to them, like, them, yeah, precisely. because you're also responsible, right? Yeah, you're the exactly. boss of those non employees, yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Yeah, and and like people have a an, an expectation from me, mm -hmm. um, also with like delivering uh, content and education and mentor lessons. So, those are all the members that are yes, part correct. of your yeah, yeah. Uh, business, yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have a, a kind of like a, a community where we actually like uh, teach people uh, business and stuff, and from there on, uh, um. We just actually uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, educate them in, in the forex market or just financial things or personal development. Mm -hmm. um, how does a woman fit in there? In particular, would you, would you think you can fall in love with a woman that has not as much professional ambitions as you do? Yeah, definitely. It's an, it's not that I like I'm not looking for a second me since I do think that 
in 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 like uh, in like love you need to like uh, compound with mm -hmm. each other so mm -hmm. it's good to be the exact opposite but for now i i'm not like really focused on it simply because um i firstly want to yeah maintain and and achieve the goal of helping the other people that i love so for example my friends and family and whatever comes on my way will be there whenever the the time is there the world is currently facing a lot of problems right and they come from poverty no chance for education or professional development or personal development towards like environmental issues yeah? do you also see a certain kind of responsibility that brings money then with it because money is power with money you can reach and achieve certain goals that are not possible without any financial means if so where do you view your responsibility there because not so many people on earth are able to be in a position that you are aiming to or are already in mm -hmm. yeah and and that's actually something that i kind of like um yeah like a lot of people like tell it to me that i'm like in a situation that not many people are in and i would like to make use of that situation simply by helping others definitely yeah since we're now here on bali uh, you see that the the wealth at certain peoples is just like under the the normal standard level that we have in the netherlands for example and that actually like drives and motivates me even more to help people here like the people even more simply because I can like I already have the money and I would like to share it with them simply to help them because they are not in a situation where I am and I would like to like I don't really see money as a separation based on like how people are or uh, based on a level because I do think that each people is equal um, but yeah like the money that I have and, and, and made by now with the work that I've done I would like to then just like share it with the people that have less than me. How would you like to do that? Because um, how, would you like to empower them through education? Would you like to build more schools? Or would you say like um, in each of us is a kind of an entrepreneur. It's no need to be in a job where you have someone you're working for. So it's good to, to, to focus on that, to create small businesses. What would be your, your approach here for, for the poorest? like yeah indeed like how how i could help like we have for example the community where we help people with uh, the standard financial education the standard motivation personal development because indeed like what you say i do believe that in each person is like an entrepreneur spirit um however sometimes that flame needs to be awake so yeah i would love to like be somebody's first middle or last steps towards helping them with like creating a better situation by themselves because I do think that everybody is responsible for their own yeah, current situation and um, yeah, the people that actually eventually take, uh, take the responsibility for having their own life uh, and not like, um, yeah, like uh, trusting on others. For example, um, you see that like now in, in the Corona period, uh, there are a lot of jobs closing and people are losing, uh, losing their jobs. And, you see that those people are eventually responsible on their boss and that's just an advice and also a motivation and a flame that I want to give over like just be responsible for your own self and don't like yeah uh, trust on somebody else who's paying you a a check for example like I do respect the people that work for a boss never so but the thing is that always be capable of having a plan b whenever that like stops working or whatsoever mm -hmm. Tax payment. If you earn a lot of money, particularly in Europe, you have to pay a lot of taxes. How much in favor are you that you pay part of your income to a government that then decides how and where to spend money? I mean, what you said right now, I take from you that there is a responsibility that comes with money. So there is, uh, if I understand you correctly, also that kind of necessity to share that money. So what is your view on that? Um, oh yeah, in, indeed, like in the Netherlands, since my company is located there, we pay a 21% on uh, taxes. And uh, yeah, just I do exactly the same like uh, each company does it. They invest a lot 
in uh, like for example supporting those people like those members investing in equipment investing in the business itself to pay as less taxes as possible and um, yeah from there on actually we yeah indeed as well try to pay as less uh, less taxes as possible and from there on simply invest the money into helping new people and then hoping that they will just like accumulate with the team and then build up for the long-term perspective mm -hmm. three questions to end first of all um, where does your mind wander when you are doing something monotonous monotonous what's mm -hmm. it like repetitive boring oh yeah yeah, yeah. um like yeah to be honest I'm, i'm like online 24 7 since that's also something that <laughs> i need to be in my in my business um so yeah if i like start like I'm, i'm never bored since i always have my phone with it and i see it as there's always something to do like i don't really see a moment in my life where i can say all right everything is done i can relax right now since yeah developing and and uh, growing mm. never has an, an, an finish line i think so there will not be any moment in my life where i will be just like boring myself or um, since i will always have the opportunity to be online and help other people at that certain time or ask mm -hmm. uh, or just uh, reply to questions or whatsoever mm, good <laughs> Uh, what is an unpopular opinion you have that you would like to share with us? That's a good question. Um, I think it is that um, it's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> like to be honest, I, I don't really have an opinion that that much times. Like I'm I'm not a a big talker. I just am more. I see myself more as a doer instead of a talker. Um, I don't really have an opinion. I, I don't really like let my voice here many times. Um, I'm just like quiet and I'm, I do what I'm responsible to do. And, um, but yeah, like my, my the, the most unpopular opinion that I would have is just that um, you always need to like be capable of, yeah, just reaching to higher levels of your personal development and financial situation because there are some people for example that are satisfied with their situation right now and their job and their house etc and i personally do think that you never need to be satisfied with what you have now since um life can always give you more out of it so never yeah never be uh, satisfied with what you have now simply because life can give you way more um just simply by uh thinking out of the box That's a beautiful view of life. It's also quite challenging because it means like to leave the comfort zone, right? Yeah, To exactly. go out there exactly where it is so nice just yeah, to sit yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. The, the comfort zone is actually a zone where yeah, people, their dream <laughs> dies. So, um, yeah, and then like, if you look at the, the society, like most of the people are actually stuck in a comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and that's, that's like, like what I said, like, Doing your own business and uh, being an entrepreneur is not for everybody, uh, since there are just a lot of people who are satisfied with the current situation. But that's just not my approach on life, since um, like at the end of the of the of the road, um, my life senses have always been like whenever I die and I'm on on my deathbed and um yeah I, i see things like fading away i want to say against myself that i did everything that i could possibly do to get the best out of my life since at the end if you have regret reg like regret will be the most uh of like the biggest pain um since you will not be capable of doing anything against it since yeah then eventually your life is over the only thing you have is regret because you didn't do the things that you would like you didn't uh, lift your life to your fullest for example and that's just something that i just want to cut out as much as possible just having that regret at the end like for example if if in some case scenario um my complete business goes down um i will most probably find something else but if i uh, end up uh Yeah, broke by the by the age of 80 I could eventually say that I've done everything in life to get the best out of it so I won't have any regrets since I've done yeah everything to the most fullest and like that's something that I want to advise to the other people like 
be responsible for the regret that you will have at the end of your life since um yeah you will otherwise have regret and like that's that's something um at that time you cannot change it you can just accept it and um yeah that's something that nobody wants to have and feel responsible for taking your own actions by now so that you don't have that regret mm -hmm. later on mm -hmm. so well said can't Thanks. believe you're just 20. my last question <laughs> what is your vision of god um just to uh, help each people who can actually yeah use the help um like i said there are like a lot of people who are having it less than me and yeah i see each person and each individual as at the same um so there is no no like competition in life um as though that people most likely see it in that way since each person is just equal and what i would like to have is that indeed like in the theory each people is equal and we don't have to have like people who are having it less or uh, living at the streets or whatsoever so that's i think that's like also my main job like if i would definitely have the unlimited amount of money in the world i would put everybody in a situation where they don't have to like really um yeah be um be um yeah just just be um a little scared of life. I think that's the best way I can pronounce it. Mm -hmm. Another last one, by Hansel. Yeah, Are sure. you afraid of life? Because I think that is one of the biggest fears humans have, to fully live life, because mm -hmm. life means like to fail, but to stand up again. Life is not happening on the sofa as a couch potato. Mm -hmm. Life is out of the comfort zone. This is where you have the highest pleasure, yeah. but also the highest risk to fail. Yeah. How do you view that? Yeah, indeed, like exactly how you say it, like life, life is just uh, going with ups and downs and it's just part of life. It's in, in everybody's life, you know, um, everybody has their ups, everybody has their downs. And from there on, you can just actually like, I've, I've in, in like the, the period of time that I've like, um, yeah, how do you say it? Like I've, I've been through a lot of shit based on family based and based on financial based and based on, um, yeah, like losing people and stuff. And from there on, it actually like made me so that I don't really have an emotion when everything is going bad or when everything is going good. I'm just like, yeah, pretty sober in life um, with whatever happens, happens. And with that- Sober means like you don't feel anything, you put your emotions away? Yeah, it's just like, like I've, uh, I've numbed them a little, I think, since yeah, a lot of like shit happened and by the time i i was yeah pretty young to eventually like accumulate everything and from there on i actually like learned to have no really like feeling at a certain situation that happens um simply because i do think that like getting stuck in the past and being scared of what's coming we will not have any positive uh, result on the future so yeah like um when I, whenever something sad happens I would most likely to accumulate it and um, I am aware of that it is sad but don't um, yeah, take it as it is sad and just like um, yeah get down for example but keep going just uh, just simply keep going that's my my biggest advice in life Talon, I appreciated our conversation thank you so much for being here with me and I wish you all the best for your life. Thank you. Likewise as well. Thanks for having me. <laughs>